How to understand the quantitative Allen Institute data visualizations. Once you've performed a search on either the microarray or the RNA-seq data from the human brain resources, you will see the heat map visualization. The vertical axis displays the gene or the probe information, and the horizontal axis has two column headers, both color-coded. The top row indicates the donor, six in this heat map, and the second row indicates the structure. To change the initial sort parameter between donor and structure, click the toggle button in the top right-hand corner. You'll notice that the donors are now interleaved and gene expression patterns start to emerge by structure. The heat map itself, by default, shows the data in z-score, which is the normalized data from a single probe over all the samples and centered over the mean, so that the average gene expression for a probe is black and overexpression is represented by red, and underexpression by green in this color map. Normalized data is represented by the log2 intensity color map and shows the absolute mRNA values. Hovering over the heat map allows you to see the donor and structure indicated by the cursor. To be able to better read the heat map, you can constrain the data shown using the filter heat map functions. First, choose your parameters. You can select specific donors or structures. Save your filters and then click the filter heat map button. Notice we now only see the structures that we've selected. Note the resolution menu, which will allow you to see all the samples collected from each structure. If you click on the heat map itself, you'll bring up metadata for the sample you clicked on, including structural information, gene expression values, as well as links to different ways to see the data, including whole brain representations of the gene expression pattern. To download this data, set up your heat map exactly as you want your data matrix to look, and make sure you choose the normalized data color map. You can download up to 2,000 rows at a time. For more information, please send us a message.